Hello, my name is Mihir Kulkarni and I am a PhD candidate at the Autonomous Robots Lab at NTNU Norway. I am excited to share our work on reinforcement learning for collision-free flight, exploiting deep collision encoding. Traditional autonomous systems often rely on a modular autonomy stack, which requires a consistent map, reliable state estimates, and provides a low-frequency output. Traditional control systems typically depend on accurate system models and are often agnostic to observations. Our goal is to develop a local navigation policy that is robust to sensor noise and uncertainty without relying on a pre-built map. We contribute a method for collision-free flight in cluttered environments, showcasing robustness to sensor noise. Our approach enables map-free navigation relying on a modularized encoder to capture collision information. We achieve robust SIM to real transfer, allowing for low latency inference on board the robot. Furthermore, our solution demonstrates the ability to generalize across diverse environments. To bridge the SIM to real gap for sensing, we utilize a novel encoding method that captures collision information from the depth images. A collision image is created that inflates the obstacle seen in the depth image by the size of the robot. This is achieved by first performing edge detection on the depth image, constructing a virtual robot-sized mesh around the edges, and then recasting through this virtual environment to obtain a collision image that captures spatial information about potential collisions. This approach provides a direct understanding of regions that can be traversed by the robot as a depth value at each pixel would indicate the collision-free distance that can be traversed in that direction. Moreover, complex obstacles such as nets, branches and twigs with gaps are inflated to form a single large region in the collision image. A deep collision encoder is trained using depth images along with a decoder to reconstruct the collision image. The latent space is compressed up to 4,800 times the size of the original depth image while still capturing the information needed for collision-free navigation. To train our method, we utilize the aerial gym simulator that provides support for multi-rotor platforms, geometric control, and randomized environments. We also developed custom recasting techniques for depth rendering and simulated noise, disturbances, and latency to bridge the sim to real gap. We simulated 1,024 parallel environments, allowing for unique environment configurations in each training episode. The navigation policy architecture consists of a three-layer fully connected network followed by a GRU layer. The inputs to the policy consist of the compressed latent representation and processed robot states relative to the goal location as input and the outputs consist of actions that are mapped to velocity and yaw rate commands for the simulated robot. The reward function is designed to nudge the robot towards the goal while penalizing high magnitude actions and rapid changes in commands, providing a dense, continuous reward signal throughout the episode. We use the asynchronous proximal policy optimization algorithm to train the policy. The aerial gym simulator provides the observations that is the latent space and states and the policy outputs velocity and yaw rate commands, which are then used to control the agent in the simulator. To gradually increase the complexity of the environments the policy can navigate, a curriculum-based approach is used. The number of obstacles in the environment is increased as the success rate of the robot reaches a certain value for each curriculum level. We conducted over 500 rollouts with different curriculum levels to evaluate the trained policy. The results show that the success rate decreases as the difficulty level of the environment increases. We validate the transferability of our method by conducting experiments in the Flightmare simulator. We also verify our proposed approach with three real-world experiments. In the first experiment, an aerial robot is tasked to navigate a cluttered indoor environment with its vertical velocity restricted. The robot accelerates and decelerates to navigate to the goal despite sensor noise and invalid pixels in the real-world depth image. Note that the policy was not trained with restrictions on the vertical velocity, but adapts to this restriction during the experiment to navigate safely to the goal location.
In the second experiment, we remove the restriction on the vertical velocity and test in the same environment. In this case, the robot takes a natural, collision-free path above the obstacles and navigates to the goal location. In the final experiment, the robot navigates a different environment and chooses an intuitive short path through a narrow gap between the panel and wall to reach the goal location. Thank you.